Okay, hi Art One. So today we're going to do a color wheel and um, some sampler techniques of different mark making ways of uh, mixing colors and, and mark making that looks like Impressionism style techniques. So the Impressionists worked more in pastel and uh, oil paints but we're going to be working in colored pencil for this demo. I'm going to do colored pencil uh, because it's a color medium that most of you have available to you. So that's my hope is that you'll be able to uh, use them in kind of an impressionism style way. So I have a printout of the finished example that I have attached to the assignment on Schoology. You could certainly pull that up on your screen and look at it uh, or or not. I don't think that you need to print it out, but certainly you could print it out if you wanted to. I'm just going to keep mine kind of off to the side right here. I also have a color wheel. This is a um, document that's on Schoology, just kind of floating around in that Impressionism unit folder. And it shows you the color wheel with all of the colors and then explains each of the different um, color groupings and color schemes. Uh, so that way you can kind of see that kind of independently of the color wheel. So, I mean, this is certainly something you could reference as well um, as you're kind of learning about color theory. Okay, so those things you don't necessarily need, but might be helpful to pull up on your screen while you're working. Then I have a piece of just white um, sketchbook paper. So this exercise could easily be done in your sketchbook. I have a piece of scrap paper. Uh, this is just a place for me to test out colors, but also a place where I can hold, put my hand down on in case I'm afraid I'm going to uh, smudge something. I have this roll of tape. This is really just to like trace a circle um, for the inside of my color wheel. That's the only reason I really have that. Could I tape down my paper while I'm working? Sure. Okay, there are some places where you might want to try blending. Um, and so I have a paper towel and a tissue for that. Um, then I have just the basic colors of my colored pencils. I pulled these out of a bigger set that I have. Uh, if you have a smaller set that has the basic colors, you're set. If you have a bigger set and you want to pull out the basic colors, it might make life easier for this exercise. Okay, and then I have my like erasers. Any erasers that you have, you can pull out. If you just have like a white plastic eraser, that's great. Um, if you have some others, fine, that's awesome too. Uh, you probably won't need them a whole lot. I also have a kneaded eraser just, you know, here. Uh, I don't know how much I'll use that. And then you can see that I did sharpen my colored pencils before uh, starting this demo. So I do have my pencil sharpener in case I need that. Okay, so the first step I'm going to do is to make the color wheel. And so okay, so to start, you're going to trace a circle. Any circle will do as long as it's about that size. And then we're going to place the primary colors. So yellow goes at the top. Then an, if you want to make a triangle, that'll help you to position the colors equal distance from each other. Red is on the right, and then blue is on the left. Then to place the secondary colors, you can make another triangle upside down, place orange between yellow and red, violet between red and blue, and green between blue and yellow. And those are your secondary colors. Then you can place your intermediate colors between those. So here I'm gonna put yellow and orange layered over top of each other to create yellow orange. Next, I'm gonna place red and orange overlapping each other between the red and the orange to make red orange. Then I'm going to place red overlapped with violet to create red violet. You wanna make sure that the colors are layered evenly. Between blue and violet, for blue violet, I'm putting blue and violet overlapping each other. And then between green and blue, I'm putting blue and green layered over top of each other for blue green. And then yellow green comes last with yellow and green layered over top of each other. And that's your color wheel.